everybody welcome back to another reaction video um if you're new here hello my name is steph i do a lot of reaction videos it's lovely to see you today today we're going to be continuing our game of throne thrones and today we're gonna be watching episode six season four i don't know what bella's doing currently but she seems to be looking to be making her bed or my bed okay well also, fun fact, did you know dogs sleep on your pillow because they like your scent and it makes them feel like more comfortable, like it makes them happy? Yeah, just letting you know. Anyway, uh, today we're going to be doing episode six. If you would like to see all of my reactions, early access to my reactions, as well as exclusive films and shows that I watch for you guys, um, you can head over to our Patreon community. And you also, you also get Discord access uh, where we have movie nights every month. Our next Patreon picked film is called Hacksaw Ridge. I don't know what that's about or anything at all. So uh, we're just gonna dive into that one for the next Patreon pick that you guys chose for me. Um, and then I have to figure out the rest of the list. Yeah, and then we're continuing uh, Star Wars season two, episode 12, 13, and 14. That is our next one uh, for Patreon. Um, but yeah, and then as you guys know, Patreon is up a f like a couple of episodes of Game of Thrones. So yeah, you guys get to watch all of that early. And besides that, I guess we're just gonna dive into the pre-summary of the last episode. And as you guys know, I'll talk, as you guys know, I'll talk about it during the introduction. Okay, we got we got a few updates. Um, <laughs> I forgot about Theon's sister going to going to go get like go get him and save him. Um, so I'm sure that there's going to be some update on that, as well as Sir De Deva Devos. I I Sir De Sir Deva Devos. Sorry, that's so hard for me to pronounce for some reason. Like my Spanish brain. Sir Devos Devos. Okay, well, you know what I'm saying. There's also a little glimpse on that. Was We also have Daenerys. Um, I'm still excited to see about her journey and how how that's about to kind of go down, basically. I fight injustice with justice. Also, Tyrion. I That's one of the main things that I'm most intrigued by is is Tyrion and what's, what's about to happen to him in court. <laughs> in court. Uh, I really, I don't think, I honestly don't think they would kill his character off, but I can't, I, I kind of just can't really expect anything just because of the Red Wedding. So that's really hard. <laughs> this is going to be so difficult. I don't even know what, what. I'm just scared for the rest of the show based off of that. I think it's crazy that, that they, that they killed off one of the main characters. Yeah. Interested to see what's going on with Tyrion. Especially with Cersei behind it all and with uh, with telling her father, like, about him lighting the future on fire and what he deserves for it. The Easterners have a different sense of time I've often found. Once I was waiting for Salador's son here in Bravos. Together we were going to run three shiploads of the finest. Welcome to the Iron Bank. Please, sit. And everything with the Iron Bank and the Targaryens is kind of crazy. So it's like, dude, I literally just realized I stopped it real quick because of the bank thing that I said. I meant Lannisters. <laughs> how many fighting men remain loyal to you? 4,000. And how many ships do you have? The ones still afloat, Sir Davos, not at the bottom of Blackwater Bay. And how much wheat and barley and beef and pork do you produce on Dragonstone to feed your 4,000 men on your 32 ships? None. You can see why these numbers seem unlikely to add up to a happy ending. From our perspective, I'm afraid we must respectfully decline your request. But we thank you for paying us the honor of your visit. When Tywin's gone, who do you back? That is a problem for another time. Begging your pardon, I think it's a problem for now. There's only one reliable leader left in Westeros. Stannis. 
He's got the birthright. He's in his prime. He's a tried and tested battle commander, and he doesn't just talk about paying people back, he does it. Damn. They skinned our countrymen, and they oh. mutilated my brother. Your prince. Your prince. Jesus, that scared me. Beyond Greyjoy, take me to the dungeons. He's not in the dungeons. Oh my god. <laughs> they put on with the dogs. Lost Kate in the right. Thank you. We're going home. I forgot that he's basically like demented right now. Tricking you, Theon. I'm saving Nothing. you. Reek. Here. Reek. My name is Reek. They catch us in here. We're trapped. Help me with him. You're Theon Greyjoy. I don't believe that. I don't Oh my god. This is turning into a lovely evening. Balls of yours. How fast can you run? Oh shit. Make for the ship now. For your brother. My brother's dead. Damn. I have a treat for you. A reward. Kind of crazy. I didn't want them to take me. I was so scared. I didn't yes. want them. Yes, great. <gasps> it's a bath for you. Remove those rags now. The bridges too reek. Take them off. I almost forgot they chopped him off. <laughs> it's kind of crazy for all the shit that he did. And he's just like... Gone. Jesus, I'm scared, dude. I don't know if it's because of his reaction or how his facial expressions at the moment, but I. Do you love me? I mean, Rick? you can't really trust Ramsay either. I don't. Yes, of course, my lord. Because I need you to do something for me, something very important. I need you to play a role, to pretend to be someone you're not. Pretend to be who? Beyond, Beyond great joy. Oh my god. That's insane. <laughs> Little goats. They're huge. It was your dragons, he says. They came this morning for his flock. I cannot bring back his goats, but I will see he has paid their value three times over. Grimoire! Grimoire! 
Jere hedesiarza, his dars o lara. Pindas me jere jidare. Hedesiarza, his dars o lara, si jinot si jinot vestegon costas. For that, he has my gratitude. I should be honored to meet him. You have your grace. You crucified him. I pray you will never live to see a member of your family treated so cruelly. Your father crucified innocent children. My father spoke out against crucifying those children. I had... He decried it as a criminal act, but was overruled. I thought there was some people like that that... Mm. I'm sorry you no longer have a father, but my treatment of the masters was no crime. You'd be wise to remember that. What's done is done. My father and 162 noble Miranese are still nailed to those posts, carrion mm. for vultures, rotting in the sun. Let me take his body down. Let me have him brought to the temple and buried with dignity so that he might find peace in the next world. Bury your father, Star Zaralak. Thank Star you, Star My queen. How many more? There are 212 supplicants waiting, Your Grace. Two hundred and twelve. God. So, does this mean I am a master of something now? Coins, ships... Lord Tywin and I already determined that I shall be the master of ships long before you. I just think it's funny that he doesn't stand up. That's why I was smiling. As for Sir Barristan, it would seem he took his dismissal from the King's Guard a bit harder than anticipated. He's an old man. He wasn't fit to protect my son. Joffrey didn't die on his watch. Dismissing him was as insulting as it was stupid. Don't tell me you're worried about a child halfway across the world. A child with two seasoned warriors counseling her. And three dragons. I have seen your little birds find their way into Meereen. Most certainly, my lord hand. Mm. Lord Tyrell, be a good man. Fetch my quill and paper. Discussion time. <laughs> it's always. And so, Baron? In front of the, the throne. Radis. <laughs> you are from Essos. I have an ear for accents. I've lost my accent entirely. I have an ear for that as well. <laughs> when I see what desire does to people, what it's done to this country. I am very glad to have no part in it. Besides, the absence of desire leaves one free to pursue other things. Such as? That's kind of crazy. It's his whole life devoted for that, or to that, I'm sorry. been pardoned. Really? Father's orders. Well, we mustn't disappoint the father. I'm nervous. Oh my god, I'm nervous. <laughs> one of the House Lannister will sit as judge in my stead. With him, Prince Oberyn of the House Martell and Lord Mace of the House Tyrell. And if found guilty, may the gods punish the accused. Tyrion of the House Lannister, stand accused by the Queen Regent of Regicide. Did you kill King Joffrey? No. Did your wife, the Lady Sansa? Not that I know of. How would you say he died then? Choked on his pigeon pie. So you would blame the bakers? All the pigeons just leave me out of it. The Crown may call its first witness. He slapped the king across the face and called him a vicious idiot and a fool. Compared his grace to the mad king and suggested he'd meet the same fate. And when I spoke in the king's defense, threatened to have me killed. Oh, why don't you tell them what Joffrey was doing? 
Silence. Pointing a loaded crossbow at Sansa Stark while you tore out her clothes and beat her. Silence! You will not speak unless called upon. You're dismissed, Sir Merrill. Ew. Ah, I'm gonna have like so much irritation in me. My stores were plundered. By whom? By the accused Tyrion Lannister after he had me wrongfully imprisoned. Grand Maester, you examined King Joffrey's corpse. Was it without question poison that killed him? Without question. I also wonder if if this was found on the body of Dantas Hollard, the king's fool. Some witnesses were being paid. You must seen spiriting Sansa Stark, the wife of the accused. She wore this necklace the day of the wedding, residue of the most rare and terrible poison was found inside. The strangler used to strike down the most noble child the gods ever put on this good earth. Did Littlefinger plan all of this? To have him killed? And your joy will turn to ashes in your mouth, and you'll know the debt is paid. Your own brother said this to you. Oh, she's ha- Oh, oh God. She's literally I said- confronted him about his plans. So much worse. Your brother said this to you. He said, perhaps you should speak more softly to me then. Monsters are dangerous, and just now kings are dying like flies. And he said this to you at a meeting of the small council? Yes. After we received word of Rob Stark's death, he didn't seem gladdened by the news. Perhaps his marriage to Sansa Stark had made him more sympathetic to the Northern cause. You once said that without me, the city would have faced certain defeat. The histories would never mention me, but you would not forget. Have you forgotten, Lord Varys? Sadly, my lord, I never forget a thing. We will adjourn for now. Toll the bells in an hour's time. I can't stand her, bro. I can't do it. I can't. Like, irks me. Cersei has manipulated everything, and you know it. I know nothing of the sort. You've always hated Tyrion. He killed his king. As did I. Do you know the last order the Mad King gave me? To bring him your head. I saved your life so you could murder my brother. It won't be murder. It'll be justice. Justice? I'm performing my sworn duty as Hand of the King. It's what happens to your dynasty when Tyrion dies? I'm a king's guard, forbidden by oath to carry on the family line. I'm well aware of your oath. What happens to your name? What happens to my dynasty if I spare the life of my grandson's killer? It survives through me. I'll leave the king's guard. I'll take my place as your son and heir if you let Tyrion live. Done. Holy f when the testimony is concluded and the guilty verdict rendered, Tyrion will be given the chance to speak. He'll plead for mercy. I'll allow him to join the Night's Watch. You will marry a suitable woman and father children named Lannister, and you'll never turn your back on your family again. You have my word. And you have mine. Okay, holy balls. <laughs> Do you trust me? Keep your mouth shut. No more outbursts. This will all be over soon. I'm scared. I don't trust this show very much. Oh shit, is he some no 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 I wonder I wonder I wonder I wonder Brown may call its next witness I feel like he's like figuring something out so I'm
Oh my god, I got goosebumps, bro. <gasps> State your name. Shay. Do you swear by all the gods that your testimony will be true and honest? I swear it. Do you know this man? I'm gonna cry my little heart out. There's no way. There's no, there's no way, there's no way. I was handmaiden to his wife, Lady Sansa. This man stands accused of murdering King Joffrey. What do you know of this? I know that he's guilty. He and Sansa planned it together. She wanted revenge for her father, her mother, her brother. She blamed their deaths on the king. Tyrion was happy to help. He hated Joffrey. He hated the queen. Cersei fucking... My lord. Why would he reveal such plans to his wife's maid? I wasn't just her maid. I was his whore. I beg your pardon? You said you were his... His whore. You belong to me now, he said. I want you to fuck me like it's my last night in this world. And did you? Did I what? Fuck him like it was his last night in this world. I did everything he wanted. Whatever he told me to do to him, he ordered me to call him my lion, so I did. I took his face in my hands and said, I am yours and you are mine. She. Please don't. I am a whore. Remember? That was before he married Sansa. After that, all he wanted was her. But she wouldn't let him in her bed. So he promised to kill King Joffrey for her. Father, I wish to confess. I wish to confess. You wish to confess? <laughs> I saved you. I saved this city and all your worthless lives. I should have let Stannis kill you all. Tyrion! Do you wish to confess? Yes. My father, I'm guilty. Guilty? Is that what you want to hear? You admit you poisoned the king. Uh, no. Of that I'm innocent. I'm guilty of a far more monstrous crime. I'm guilty of being a dwarf. You are not on trial for being a dwarf. Oh. I've been on trial for that my entire life. Oh, shit. Have you nothing to say in your defense? Nothing but this. I did not do it. I did not kill Joffrey, but I wish that I had. Watching your vicious bastard die gave me more relief than a thousand lying whores. I wish, I wish I had enough poison for the whole pack of you. I would gladly give my life to watch you all swallow it. Samarin, Samarin, escort the prisoner back to his cell. I will not give my life for Joffrey's murder, and I know I'll get no justice here, so I will let the gods decide my fate. I demand a trial by combat. Um, I don't know. I, I honestly feel like with the entirety of the witnesses, I feel like Cersei had a lot of, a lot to do with it. Um, I legitimately can't stand even looking at her. Uh, Tyrion, holy. <gasps> Dude, that was, man. <laughs> That was in, that was incredible. That was that was insane. Um, uh, there's just some 
there's just like this satisfaction that he gives like his character, his personality and like what he, his decision making and what he says and how he goes about things is such, it just feels like satisfaction. Like I'm, 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 there's a part of me that's glad that he didn't abide by his father, uh, knowing that he'd, you know, get sent to the wall or whatever the night's watch. And he kind of went about it how he wanted to because of his anger and the one thing that led him to that was Shay and just obviously hearing what she had to say. And the way, the way he said it and what he said is just filled with like so much genuine anger and frustration. I loved that scene. And just based on the fact that he took it upon himself to say, you know what? You, you. I'm not doing like I'm not going down for this. Sh- this wasn't me, and I'm angry as fuck with all every single fucking person in that room, and it was the oh my god the way the way. What's the word I'm looking for? Oh my god, I don't know, but just just so amazing. You could you could tell like oh my god I just got goosebumps. <laughs> you could tell by his anger and also the hurt behind everything like with his father always 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 like the, about him being on trial for being a dwarf again like saying that to his father was so what a what a oh god what a way to go about it but his frustration and anger and hurt that he's just been feeling for so long was all given in that performance and it was so 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 good i'm scared i'm scared of what's going to happen now also uh giving the fate to the gods basically like his fate is is left in the god in in the hands of of the gods uh i'm really scared i and this is why i want to go to the next episode honestly they probably won't even have the combat the next episode knowing game of thrones so i'm kind of sad that that might not happen but that also diminishes the deal with um Jamie and his father. So yeah. Um yeah, that was amazing. I I uh, sorry, I've been talking about it for such a while, but holy crap, that was so crazy. And also Shay coming back to do that. I also think Cersei was a part of a lot of the witnesses um tellings. So it's yeah, I kind of want to see what that's all about. Yeah, I wonder how that that will kind of go down. Also, I noticed that Sansa's necklace was also part of, you know, the witness story and stuff. But it's I just remember Littlefinger cracking the the necklace and throwing it back into the boat where the guy basically where he killed the guy. Um, so it's very interesting to see that that reached all the way back there and was used as as evidence from what happened. So. I don't know. I just think that's crazy. Also, also, I had to go back because I kind of like, I was so stuck on on this last scene that we saw in this episode. I'm like, what the heck? What else happened? Um, honestly, I didn't expect Theon's sister to leave him. Uh, I guess logically it is, I mean, it is the right thing to do. I think that's insane. Yeah, logically it's just the right thing to do, but I just didn't expect it uh, because they made all, you know, that entire journey <clears throat> to save him. And now, now Ramsey or whatever wants him to pretend to be Theon or Reek or, or, you know, he's Reek, but he wants him to be Theon. And it's, uh, I wonder how that's going to go down because even as Reek, like his demeanor and the way that he is, is very like kind of crazy. And his, just the way that he is as a, as a, as a person now is, is very just a little bit not there so i'm interesting i'm interested to see of him saying like okay i need you to play theon Greyjoy. so what is he is like mentally would he even be able in this position right mentally would he even be able to do that as a a norm like act like a normal human because i I don't really see that happening like i would see him be like still like scared and try to act like somebody else but mentally the fact that he isn't there and he's 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 
just not mentally okay. There's, I don't see it logically. I don't see him logically being able to pretend to be Theon again or whatever. Like, I just don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't see that happening. Um, we did get a little update on Daenerys as well, uh, with the 212 left, which is, I think it's kind of crazy. I also, when she was talking about bringing justice, um, by crucifying all the masters and stuff. I was wondering, I don't even know if I had brought it up when it was happening, but just the fact that there are some masters who are probably good, but they do get outlawed by the majority. So I was also thinking if that was, if that was also part of it. Um, so it's kind of crazy to see that, you know, basically it was in her, 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 her belief in that whole system uh, is kind of, I guess you could say it kind of backfired in a way because of the fact that there are noble men uh, who are masters basically. So yeah, I was kind of wondering that in the last couple of episodes when she was doing that. So yeah, it was kind of, yeah. Kind of crazy to see that that was part of it. Um, uh, I was hoping we would get a little glimpse on Sansa and Littlefinger, uh, just because Littlefinger is fucking doing his thing right now, dude. He's he's insane. He's in, his his plotting and oh, I don't know. It's just it's just insane. Like I'm trying to catch up with everything that we've seen so far, and then up to this point, and trying to figure out the plotting behind Littlefinger and what he what he what he's doing and his his just the entirety of all his schemes is insane and even within time like it's it's not even just a a, a small scheme where it's like this is gonna happen and this will happen in two days or whatever it's like an entire scheme and all of them all together just kind of conjoined to make like a big picture basically or he wants everything so it's just kind of crazy to just have all of these things roll out as as the show continues um but besides that i think just the the biggest thing in this 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 episode was with Tyrion, and i kind of want to watch it again just one more time just just to watch it one more time um and it just sucks sucks that his heart was truly truly broken by shay um in that scene and it was it was so heartbreaking it was so heartbreaking to see because I think there was they were one of the couples that I I really really just I don't know it, they're, it was just heart wrenching I really strived for them and I'm just really saddened by by the fact that this happened but I know Shay's also hurt because of what he had said to her it just sucks overall you know um dang it okay uh, but we will head into the next episode. So I will see you guys there. And then um, I'm also going to head into Sa Hacksaw Ridge. So I'll see you there as well for the Patreon members. And uh, besides that, make sure to eat, to rest, and to stay hydrated. And I will see you guys for the next one.